Well, uh, it's great to be with you all. And uh, I was going to say good afternoon, but we're starting this meeting late because I was engaged in preparing for a trip to the Middle East. But today is a historic day. And thank you, Vice President Harris, uh, Chair of the National Space Council. And thank you, my dear friend and our outstanding NASA administrator and the guy, only guy here that's been in space, Bill Nelson. Bill, you're a good friend. Thank you very much for what you're doing. And, uh, um, and Dr. Nelson, you've been doing a great job leading this Office of Science and Technology and Policy. It really is a matter. It really is amazing. Six and a half months ago, a rocket launched from Earth carrying the world's newest, most powerful deep space telescope on a journey one million miles into the cosmos. First of all, that blows my mind. A million miles into the cosmos. Along the way, unfolding itself, deploying a mirror 21 feet wide, a sun shield the size of a tennis court, and 250,000 tiny shutters, each one smaller than a grain of sand. Put together, it's a new window into the history of our universe. And today we're gonna to get a glimpse of the first light to shine through that window. Light from other worlds, orbiting stars, far beyond our own. It's astounding to me when I read this. And I saw the first, I mean, it really is. It's, it's, anyway, I don't wanna, I'll see what they think when we see this. But light where stars were born and from where they die. Light from the oldest galaxies, the oldest documented light in the history of the universe from over 13 billion, let me say that again, 13 billion years ago. It's hard to even fathom. Tomorrow, when this image is shared with the world, it'll be a historic moment for science and technology, for astronomy and space exploration, for America and all of humanity. You know, as an international collaboration, this telescope embodies how America leads the world, not by the example of our power, but the power of our example. A partnership with others. It symbolizes the relentless spirit of American ingenuity. And it shows what we can achieve, what more we can discover, not just about distant places, but about our very own planet and climate, like NASA's Earth Systems Observatory that we launched last year. That's why the federal government must invest, must invest in science and technology more than we have in the past. These images are gonna remind the world that America can do big things. And they remind the American people, especially our children, that there's nothing beyond our capacity, nothing beyond our capacity. We can see possibilities no one has ever seen before. We can go places no one has ever gone before. You know, you've, you, you, you've heard me say over and over again, America is defined by one single word, possibilities, possibilities. I wanna thank the team at NASA for once again showing that that's who we are. That's who we are as a nation, a nation of possibilities. And now let's take a look at the very first image from this miraculous telescope. NASA Administrator Nelson, I'm going to turn this over to you. So will you please tell us about what we're seeing? Mr. President, if you held a grain of sand on the tip of your finger at arm's length, that is the part of the universe that you're seeing, just one little speck of the universe. And what you're seeing there are galaxies, uh, you're seeing galaxies that are shining around other galaxies whose light has been bent. And you're seeing just a small little portion of the universe. You know, a hundred years ago, Mr. President, Madam Vice President, a hundred years ago, we thought there was only one galaxy. Now, the number is unlimited. And in our galaxy, we have billions of stars or suns, and there are billions of galaxies with billions of stars and suns, and we're getting our first glimpse. As you said, Mr. President, we're looking back more than 13 billion years. Light travels at 186,000 miles per second, 
And that light that you are seeing on one of those little specks has been traveling for over 13 billion years. And by the way, we're going back further because this is just the first image. They're going back about 13 and a half billion years. And since we know the universe is 13.8 billion years old, we're going back almost to the beginning. That is the discovery that we are making with this. There's another thing that you're gonna find with this telescope. It is gonna be so precise, you're gonna see whether or not planets, because of the chemical composition that we can determine with this telescope of their atmosphere, if those planets are habitable. And when you look at something as big as this is, we are going to be able to answer questions that we don't even know what the questions are yet. This is what's happening. And it's because of this wonderful team that's out here. Uh, part of that team led by Thomas Zerbokin, it was in trouble financially five years ago. He took it over, he got Greg Robinson that you're going to meet to direct it, and the result is what you've seen. So what an incredible team, joined, by the way, with our international partners, the European Space Agency and the Canadian Space Agency. So this is an international endeavor. It's amazing. I wonder what the press like in all those other places.